Good morning, my P3 students. How are you today? Okay, so today we're going to answer the material that I gave you last week. So uh, the activity was that you are going to choose the things that you can touch or you can hold and then you're going to draw it and then color. So today I'm going to show you what are the things. These are the things. So. I'm sorry about my drawing, so that's all I can do. So please bear with me. Okay, so before that, let's review our senses. So again, how many senses do we have? We have five senses, and what are those? So again, these are the five senses. So first we have sense of touch. Sense of touch. What's our second one? We have sense of sight sense of sight next we have sense of smell sense of smell how about this we have sense of hearing sense of hearing and then where can we find our sense of taste in our mouth right our tongue so again this is sense of taste sense of taste. Now, let's look at the body parts that we use for our five senses. So first we have sense of, no sorry, body part. What body part is this? Tongue. Very good. Where is our tongue? Inside our mouth. Tongue. What's this? What word? Nose. Very good. Nose. Body part. Hands. Ears, eyes, okay, that's all. So again, we have five senses and the body parts that we use are, are our eyes, our nose, uh, our tongue, but where can we find our tongue? Our, in our, inside our mouth, right? Our ears and our hands. So today I'm going to teach you a song that will help you remember about the body parts that you use for the five uh, senses. Okay, so the title of the song is My Eyes, My Nose, My Mouth, My Ears, My Eyes, My Nose, My Mouth, My Ears. So again, we're going to use our hands, our fingers to point those body parts. Are you ready? Excellent. body parts that we use for our five senses. Okay, so today let's review about the material that I have given you last week. So again, the assignment was that you are going to, in your notebook, you are going to write down. So for example, if this is my notebook, so science notebook, I'm going to to write on the very top the things or things that I can, the things that I can touch or hold. All right, so again, that is the title of your worksheet. So here you're going to write the things that I can touch. So these are the things that I ask you to choose, to identify. So which of these items are things that you can touch or you can hold using your hands? So let's start with uh, number one. We have a ball. Two, uh, fire. Three, rainbow. Four, a horse. That's my horse. And this one, number five is, uh, these are clouds. And then, these are candies, M&Ms. So 
So cane this and then we have dog. Looks like a person, right? <laughs> I have to draw. This one is uh, my dog. A very cute dog. And number eight is a fried chicken. Mm. Makes me hungry thinking about the fried chicken. All right, so again, your objective or the goal is that you can choose all the pictures or words, pictures or word that you can touch or can hold. Okay, let's check. So a ball. Can you touch or hold the ball? Yes or no? If it's yes, we're going to put a check. And if it's not, then we're going to put an X. Okay, so again, ball. Can you touch or hold the ball? Of course, right? So we're going to put check. So in your notebook, you are going to draw a ball right, like that. And then when you draw, you can color. And then after coloring, you label. What is this? That's a fire. No, it, it isn't. It's a, a ball. Very good. How about number two? Can you touch a fire? Can you hold a fire? You can put your finger in it, but you cannot touch it or else you will get burned. So we're going to put X for the fire. How about rainbow? Is rainbow something that you can touch? You can hold? No, right? It's something that we can See, so we're going to put X for the rainbow. So we are not going to draw the fire and the rainbow. How about the woods? The teacher will say the wood. Can you touch the wood? Yes, but here the this picture is about fire. So fire and rainbow, you will not draw this in your notebook. How about a horse? Can you touch and hold a horse? Yes, right? So, again, you are going to draw the horse in your notebook. Looks like a duck. I'm sorry, my drawing is really terrible. All right, that's, and then you're going to put the name horse. Again, this is only uh, to give you a clear vision on how you're going to do your homework. So, again, if this is your notebook, the title is that, the things that I can touch or hold. So first, number one, I'm going to draw a ball and then I'm going to write the word ball. Number two, a horse, since I can touch and I can hold a horse. So I, and number two, I'm going to draw a picture of a horse and then label. What's, what is the name of this picture? It's a horse. It's very easy, right? And then number five, Clouds. Are clouds something that you can touch and can hold? No, right? So clouds are something that you can see up in the sky. So we are not going to draw clouds. All right, how about eminence? Candies. Go, uh, goodies. So candies, is it something that you can touch or you can hold? Yes, very good. So again, you're going to draw number three. You're going to draw candy. So you're going to put candy or candies. If only one candy, if there's two or more, we say candies. How about the dog? Can you touch or hold a dog? Of course, right? You can even play with it. So again, for a dog, so it's a check. So you are going to draw a dog in your notebook and then put the name, right? How about the fried chicken? Yum, 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 yum. It's something that you can taste, but again, you can um, physically touch or hold the fried, fried chicken. So we put an X and then we're going to draw the fried chicken in your notebook, the things that you can hold or you can touch. Okay, let's review. So a ball is something that I can hold or touch. Fire. Fire is something that I cannot hold or touch. Rainbow. A rainbow is something that I cannot 
hold or touch. How about a horse? A horse is something that I can hold and touch. Clouds. Clouds are something that I cannot hold or touch. Candies. Candies are something that I can hold and touch. A dog. A dog is something that I can hold or touch. And a fried chicken is something that I can hold and touch. Okay, so for your practice, you can write a sentence about it, but the um, for your practice for writing sentences, but it's not required, it's up to you, okay? So it's your call, meaning it's you decide whether you uh, write sentences about it. But uh, the, the goal for this activity is that you are going to choose and draw the things that you can hold and you can touch. That will be all for today. By the way, today is Tuesday, 31st of March 2020. Yay! We're done with the month of March. Yes, and tomorrow is April 1st, and it's going to be April's Fool's, right? Okay, goodbye, and see you next time.